Aloha, this is Heidi at ECPZ. In this video, I'm going to show you some different styles of wool diaper covers. This is not an exhaustive list of every single style out there. I don't own them all, but I'm going to give you just an overview of the ones that I currently have in my stash. I know it can be a bit confusing when you first get into wool because each brand has their own different styles and names for them. One tip is if you know a particular brand you're planning to get a cover from, join their Facebook group and that's a good place where you can see photos and get an idea of how different ones fit. Also some of the brands have good infographics on their website, for instance for longies which are like long pants or trousers, they may be wide legged, boot cut, slim fit tapered, so some of the brands will show diagrams of the different ways those will fit. Let's dive in and look at some of the styles of wool diaper covers. This style is called a soaker. This is the most basic style of wool diaper cover. I think it's what most people imagine when they think of a wool cover. I have two examples. This is a knit wool soaker by Dasana. This is an interlock wool soaker by Truly Harris. Those terms are a little confusing because technically these are both knit type of fabrics we call it knit when it's this more obvious loops on it. This is a really stretchy cover. It comes up very high on the waist covering the baby's belly. This is just a three to six month size and it looks almost as big as this one but this is a size medium so it's meant to fit a much bigger baby. It does have a bit of stretch. I think of a soaker as looking similar cut to underwear. It has a wide waistband and the comfortable leg bands as well. I have another style here that looks similar to a soaker. These are Euro shorts by Truly Rocks. They might not be carrying these in the future since they weren't super popular. I thought they looked really cute to go over cloth training pants. So it's a similar cut but without wide leg bands and without a tall wide waistband. So this won't be able to cover as bulky of absorbency underneath. One reason these have the wide waistband and come up kind of high is so that you can have something big and thick underneath, such as a fitted diaper. Now, if you were to take a soaker and add a skirt over top, you would end up with what's called a skirty. These are both size medium soakers by Truly Caris, but this one has this additional thinner wool jersey skirt attached to it. And you could also attach a skirt to the other styles of wool diaper covers we'll be looking at as well. So this cover really makes it look like clothing. I liked using just the plain soaker under dresses for my daughter and then the skirty is a skirt and a diaper cover all in one. The style of wool diaper cover that looks like long pants or trousers is referred to as longies. However, each brand has their own cuts and versions and those may have individual names. This pair here is from Truly Caris and they call this style slims because of the slim legs. Their longies would be a lot more wider legged. They also offer what they call leggings and I believe those are even narrower legs than these slims. So each brand may have their own variations of whether they have wide legs, straight legs, boot cut, tapered, and they may have their own names that they give for those different variations. But if it looks like a long pair of pants, then the general name you can call it is longies. I just have a pair of interlock wool longies. I did order a pair of knit wool ones that I'll be getting sometime in the near future, but basically you can have longies made out of any of the different types of wool. If instead of a long pair of pants, you have a short pair of pants, that would be referred to as shorties. So shorties are basically shorts. This particular pair from Truly Caris is referred to as relaxed explorers. Relaxed refers to the cut of the legs. Explorers that they offer are the ones that have this type of pockets on them. They also have options to add on cargo pockets to their woolies, but this type up here that looks like a pair of pockets you would have on jeans is their explorer version. Different brands again will have different types of shorts. They might have ones that look more like board shorts. They may have different inseams, so shorter or longer, but in general a pair of shorts is referred to as shorties. My personal favorite style of short woolies is wool bubble shorts. 
I know I said in my Wool 101 video that you could dress your girl in bubble shorts, but I'm here to correct myself and say bubbles are for boys too. I really enjoyed this pair of bubble shorts on my son. These are from Truly Caris as well. They're from the thinner midweight interlock that they offer. I just really love bubbles because they're so roomy that I never have trouble pulling them on and off even if I have something like a really thick fitted or other bulky diaper underneath. You don't have to worry about the hips getting too tight the way they might on a soaker style. They're also just really cute. They can be like little bloomers. They can be paired with a t-shirt. I just really love the style. A style that's in between the length of longies and shorties is capris. These were my absolute favorite on my daughter when she was a toddler because they were long enough to protect her knees if she were to fall. These particular ones are rouched capris. They're by Truly Caris. Really great option because they're cool enough to wear in hot weather but they're also great to protect crawlers or walkers who tend to fall down. She used to wear these almost every day. Also with a length like this, I was able to get them where they went all the way down to her ankles at first and fit her like long pants. And then as she grew, they turned more into capri length. So it's a style you can get a long time of wear out of. And bubble shorts are another style that tend to fit for a long time since they're roomy around the hips. That's one reason I really like capris and bubbles to get a lot of wear out of them. There are many types of wool diaper covers that you would pull up onto your baby, such as soakers, bubbles, longies, shorties, but those aren't the only style of wool diaper covers. This interlock wool cover is by Bumby and it's called the Abrazo meaning hug, so it kind of wraps around and hugs your baby. It has hook and loop closure. You can see here I could tighten it even more by overlapping this. So it could fit a small baby. This is very adjustable, so it kind of fits two size ranges. It has more flexibility than a standard sized wool cover does. It has laundry tabs here for when you're washing. And then if you wanted to make the rise even shorter on this, you can fold down the rise and there's additional hook and loop here that you can make this even shorter. So this can be very customized to fit a wide range of babies and I could overlap the waist there as well. This is a very unique cover. One of the things that Bumby brand is known for is this kind of color blocking and then you get to choose the colors for each portion you will cover. I love that concept because I'm all about color. So I got to choose my favorite colors on this. This particular one is a size medium and my baby who's five months old is just starting to fit into this and then it will last him for quite a while. There's also a pocket here. You wouldn't add absorbency into this pocket, but you could add an additional wool type booster just to make this even thicker and more bulletproof. So it has these nice, soft, comfortable bands similar to a soaker, instead of having what many wrap style wool covers have, which is elastic around the legs. That's the Abrazo by Bumby. Here are some more examples of wrap style wool covers. This is the Baby Greens Classic cover that snaps at the sides. This is one of my all time favorite covers. I had it in just the natural color for newborn and then I got the size medium once my baby was starting to outgrow the newborn. I find that with those two snaps, you can adjust this really well. Adjust one for the legs and one for the waist. Baby Greens also makes another wool wrap style where the wings come to the front and snap and there's just one row of snaps but I've only tried this version. Green Mountain Diapers offers the Baby Greens covers just in natural color, but if you order them directly from the Baby Greens website, then they use upcycled sweaters to make these different colored versions. These two are examples of wrap covers from Poopy Diapers. So I did a whole video just on this brand. If you'd like to know more all about their covers, you can watch that separate video. But they have ones that secure with snaps, they have different rise settings to be able to shorten the rise. And they also have ones that secure with hook and loop Velcro closure. So many people think of wool covers just as pull-on style, but there are a lot of wrap style ones available as well. 
Thanks so much for watching. If you're interested in cloth diapering with wool diaper covers, take a look around the Easy Peasy channel. I have other videos on using wool, including how to wash and lanolize wool diaper covers. Please subscribe for more on natural cloth diapering and elimination communication.